Hi guys, today we're going to be working on this CoverGirl ombre design and this is inspired by the ad that has pink uh, showing her nails and if you haven't seen that ad, if you just google search like pink's CoverGirl nails, you should be able to see it. I'm using the colors that they reference in the ad. This is Black Diamond. This is Midnight Magic. And this is Perfect Penny. And let me just turn them on their side here so you can get a little bit of a better look. Um, at first I was kind of skeptical that the colors listed were accurate because Midnight Magic does look so blue. But when you sponge, the glitter that's in the polish kind of clumps more together and ends up with more of a silver tone. And since my camera battery was dead when I went to do this tutorial, I'm going to be working on the nail wheel, which you guys know isn't my favorite, but works in a pinch, so hopefully you don't mind too much. <clears throat> and if you're interested in any of these other designs on the nail wheel, I will uh, try to remember to link those down in the information box. The base color that I already have applied here is the Black Diamond. This is just a plain black cream. And the first thing I'm going to do is a little bit of sponging with Midnight Magic. I'm using just a regular makeup sponge. And as I apply it here, see if hopefully you can see, the polish kind of sinks into the sponge a little bit. But you can see that the sparkle stays on top of the sponge. So when you go to apply it on the nail, you get a real kind of thick application of glitter wherever that first sponge is. And so I'm just going to continue on, do a little bit more of that. Make sure I get kind of over to the side here and then bring it down just a little bit into the black. So it sponges a much different color than what it shows in the bottle but I still didn't feel like it really looked like it did in the ad so I may eventually kind of revisit this look with colors that I think match closer to the ad the last step is going to be to do the tips with perfect penny and I'm just going to use the other corner of this sponge and I didn't think that this looked, I don't know how to put it, didn't look coppery enough um, on top of the Midnight Magic. You know, it, it just kind of looked pale and a little bit washed out. And you may need to build up a couple coats. I'm going to let that dry for just a minute before I apply another coat. But that's really all there is to it. Um, when I tested... I did not like the way it turned out when I tried to apply all three colors on the sponge at the same time. So if you want to try that way, it's certainly up to you, but I'd kind of recommend doing them one at a time. All right, I'm going to apply one more coat of the copper sponged on just to the tip. And then I'm going to add a little bit of top coat. Well, a normal amount of top coat I guess I should say um, although that is the other thing CoverGirl says that with this um, Outlast Stay Brilliant line that you don't need a top coat but I disagree basically especially when you're sponging I think a top coat is really important to even everything out and give it a good shine and just to kind of seal in that design so this is a really simple design but while I normally try not to be negative about my nails I really wasn't very happy with it and I apologize that I'm not starting a nail art April out with something more impressive but hopefully my next video will make up for it so stay tuned for that <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you think of this design because I know a lot of times something that's not my favorite may be somebody else's favorite. You never know. Everybody has different tastes. But 
more nail art April soon to come. And as always, thanks for watching.